Come on, folks. Jason, William, Travis. Salty Stang. Everything went pretty well. Uh, down here at Storage Lot. And uh, we're going to show you what it looks like. Okay. Here's the water. All the way up almost to the road. And the creek that we had went to. If you remember right, the first day I drove all the way down. The creek's down there. Well, where that tall pine is right there. Or that's not a pine. That water oak. So, as you can see, it's up bad. No, I didn't have any trees come down. Thank goodness. Uh, a lot of big trees down all over the place. And, you know, a lot of people out of power. There's a lot of flooding going on. Uh, as you can see, my storage lot. It's got a little bit of water in it. Nothing's going to hurt anything. Uh, I don't think it's through rising. But uh, it's pretty rough. But the first morning we drove all the way down there and then the second morning we went right here and walked down. Of course it's too far gone now. It could get pretty much higher than this. Uh, actually, I'll show you. The water has actually been up as high as the, the bottom of my building right over there just you know about four or five inches up on it six inches up so which it's on a the building's on a concrete foundation it, you know it's not a big issue as long as you get it dried out quick yeah we'll walk down here to the creek and uh see how bad it is Bobby, Greg. I don't have a swimsuit, but I'm from West Virginia. We never used them anyway. This is all water in here, as you can see. It's backed up from this creek. Or what we used to call creek. I don't know. Everybody down here calls it a creek. I was always told that a creek was what a door done when, when it moved. And the creek was where the water was. No damage at my place whatsoever. Two little trees. That's all I seen. I had one piece of tin come loose on the shop and I went out there and fixed that the first day. Yeah, the boat's ready, so if the water comes up that high, then we're good to go. Now, usually, if you stand on this bridge, you got to look straight down at the water. It's a long ways down, but it is up now. I don't think we're going to get any more rain. I don't know. It don't look like it. I've actually seen the sun a little bit this morning. It was a good thing. But, uh, yeah, this is usually a little creek that's about, uh, uh, the water runs probably no more than, you know, five, six feet wide. Yeah, just the only damage near me is just trees down. Uh, my son works, he was, I think he worked 12 hours Saturday, 16 hours yesterday. Come home late last night and he was back out at five this morning. So, Jordan has been really putting the hours in, working hard. Yeah, this is up, big time up. But the water's moving, that's a good, good sign.
Yeah, my son's a good boy. I don't, you know, that was sort of my goal in life was to raise a person that was a, a productive member of society. And then I wasn't too worried about things after that. And then, uh, you know, my grandson came along and then it sort of starts over again. So. Yeah, I was out last night towing. I actually had a uh, T-Mobile truck that had jackknife and the generator came around and hit the truck and uh, it moved the axle on the truck and, moved, and tore the axle up under the generator. So I'll get, a, I'll get that on video today. Uh, I'm going to post a video tonight of some of this towing and stuff. But... Uh, it's kind of crazy here because I'm sitting here looking at the water level up here compared to here. You know, it's a, it's a steady decrease coming down. It's flowing hard. Hey, Kyle. Yeah, and then I had one of the... Uh, Actually, a sergeant for the state troopers, one of the highway patrol, got stuck in his front yard and in his truck. So I actually went in to his place and pulled him out last night. And that was uh, late, 9, 10 o'clock. I had trouble finding fuel anywhere. I was kind of low on diesel in my record. So. Yeah, we was talking about fishing yesterday at the river, but we seen some pictures at the river where I normally fish, and there's a bridge you can go under and normally can go under but i can't get under it with my boat i'm not sure that i could get under it with my 14 or my 12 foot john boat what time is it here i wish i could tell you it's somewhere around 10 o'clock in the morning maybe a little later 11 o'clock i can't look at my phone while i'm live streaming i usually don't pay much attention to the time unless i got somewhere to be or somewhere to go It's not like when I used to, when you, you know, years and years back when I used to work a job for somebody else, then you worried about what time it was. Quarter to 11, yeah, 1045, that's probably about right. Yeah, now none of this is creek right here. This is all just where the water has backed up. No, no cars flood it's a lot. I'm walking back that way and I'll show everybody again. Water is backed up all the way up through here. But you know when I when I set this storage lot up I knew that this was a, a bad area. But one thing about it is is you know you normally have time to move things if you need to move them. And if there was any customer cars or any insurance cars or anything like that in this storage lot, they wouldn't be here right now because I'd already moved them to the other one. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, as you can see, there might be a little water around that burnt one down at the bottom, down at the end down there, but that's about it. Uh, I don't think much of a salvage car, especially the new model. The newer it is, the worse it is. But, you know, an old car. I had a buddy that bought a uh, service truck that had been flooded, but it was a 8.2 diesel truck with a turbo and service truck. And, you know, he come out just fine with it. But, you know, anything new with electronics, it's, it's terrible. So, uh, this place, the reason that we cleared this right here and leveled it off, uh, the pole got knocked down by somebody. We've got to get it back up. If you can see that. Uh, the fire department's required so many places in the county to be able to back up and, you know, get their, get their trucks into to pump some water. And that's why this is cleared and leveled is because that way the fire trucks can get back to the water. And uh, 
you know, when you're in a, in a smaller area and you're not in a city or something like that, you know, all this stuff is, is voluntary and, and you got to do everything you can do to help out, you know, the fire department. And actually, uh, I leased this lot. This is actually a buddy of mine's place. Uh, he's owned it for years and years. And, uh, I'll give you a little story, a little history on this. It's kind of, kind of funny. This is actually Moore County and I don't know if you can see it, but there is a green sign up that way somewhere. That is where you get into Harnett County. And this building used to be a beer store. And Harnett County was a dry county. And Moore County, you could have alcohol. So they actually had a beer store here. And that's as far as you had to go across the county line to get beer. And Lord only knows how much beer was sold out of this place. But uh, it sat for years, and then uh, when I got it, you know, everything was grown, grown up, and I brought skid steer down, and we'd done some clearing and moving and put the, uh, the, top, the roof on it and done the vinyl siding and everything, cleaned it up, built the fence. The entire fence right here is built basically for no money. Uh, just scrap stuff and all the uh, posts and bars. Uh, a friend of mine actually owns a sprinkler company that does uh, sprinklers inside of uh, buildings and when they order steel if it ever gets wet and starts rusting excuse the vehicles but if the steel ever gets wet and starts rusting then they're not allowed to use it on the commercial buildings so uh, he gave me all the, the posts and the steel to be able to, to build this and believe it or not even though it was new steel with the rust that was on it, they would have gotten scrapped. So anyway, don't look too bad. Not as bad as I thought it could be. So I don't know. We'll see if it fills up or goes down. Yeah, the metal detecting video. Some of you may have seen it. I went down in the bottom of that creek and metal detected all the way up and down. So it, that was on a during the summer when it was dry. It's just crazy how much difference it you know it makes. Now somewhere up this creek, there was supposed to be a place where there used to be a mill at. And uh, never fired up the generator. I, we actually loaned a little generator out, and uh, the boy brought it. Actually brought it back last night. So, yeah, the water right here is probably only six inches deep. Start getting down a little farther, it's a little deeper, but it's not, you know, it's not real deep. Now, I would say that in the middle of the creek there, the water's probably 10, 12 foot deep. Yeah, I need to put some kind of marker here so I'll know. Anyway, I just wanted to show everyone and, you know, we, we haven't had any real problems. Besides, you know, all the roads are flooded and a lot of roads closed down, a lot of bridges washed out. Uh, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be rough. You know, I, I'm really lucky. We're really lucky. I mean, we never even lost power, so, uh, you know. I really don't have any cleanup to do or anything like that of my stuff. You know, I got some stuff I need to unstrap that I had strapped down. Uh, so, you know, now, now's the time to see what we can do to help everybody else out. Yeah, we still ain't got enough to float the boat yet. I tell you what, if it gets high enough that we can float that boat over that fence, we'll come down here and get it running. See you, Jacob. But, uh, no, no major issues at all. Uh, really, really lucky. But anyway, I appreciate everybody watching. I'm going to get off here and, uh, I'll have a video probably on this evening of some towing and stuff I'm working on right now. I got to get at it. Y'all take care of yourself.